I'm looking for a subdivision right now where a lady is in panic mode <laughs> because there's a snake in her garage and uh, I don't know if it's still going to be there but we're going to go and see if we can find this place and hopefully catch a snake today. <laughs> And she doesn't even know what color it is. So what color is the snake? She doesn't know what color it is. I don't know. You know, I guess people get so scared of stuff, you see something, and you, you, you just can't even describe it. So, but uh, hopefully it's still there. Hopefully we can find it. This is a black racer and uh they like I've already got a hole in my shorts there anyway. Ow! Okay. Oh. There we go. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's just a black racer. No, it's not a rat snake, it's a black racer. No, sir. No, it's not hey, we'll venomous. Go, 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 go. <laughs> we'll put him in. We'll put him in our van. It's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Do what? They're not related to king snakes. Nope. I never heard of black racer. Black racer. Yep. And they're not poisonous. No, they're not venomous. He's a feisty little thing, isn't he? Uh -oh. Goodness, let me. I rarely have something to put a snake. Ow! That's the duh. That one hurt. Uh -oh. He's a meanless. <laughs> these, these, <laughs> so, these black racers, come get a close up of him. Uh -huh. If you look at this snake, he's got pretty big eyes for a snake. And so these are diurnal, which means they're active in the daytime. And what the snake will do is he'll come out here, he'll raise his head up off the ground, and he'll visually search for his prey. Now his scientific name is Colubra constrictor, but it's not a constrictor. When these things find their prey, they actually just bite it and overpower it and just swallow it. They don't squeeze it. Um, so black racers eat a lot of different things uh, but they'll also eat yes ma'am they'll also eat other snakes so it's a really it's a really great snake to have on your property hang on please don't bite my face and it's completely harmless now it will bite so you got my finger there a little bit of blood but it's really it's really not bad so we're going to put them in a pillowcase and we're going to take them away from here so you don't have to deal with them again okay you get a good picture of them there <laughs> All right. I rarely have. See, there we go. He's getting a good bite. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's put him in this bag. I rarely have seen anything to put snakes in. I know that's not very professional. But whoever said I was a professional. Head. Yeah, he's got me a few times. All right, in here, buddy. There we go. Yeah, I me. Kiss me. Yeah. We got it. Hello. Hello. How are you? No, snake repellent doesn't repel snakes. So there's nothing we can put down to prevent it. Um, I'm gonna take him a long way from here. He'll never find his way back to your house. 
the stuff on the side of the house, all the trash, make sure that's gone because that gives mice a place to hide and snakes will come to eat the mice. So get rid of all that. That's the best thing you can do. Uh, snake repellent does not repel snakes. It's a waste of money. So don't waste your money on that, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. If we can help you, let us know. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's go take yeah. our snake yeah. somewhere. Yeah. We're going to turn this racer loose. And uh, it's a really good snake to have around. But when you're terrified of snakes, I'd rather the snake not get killed than to just leave it here. We're not going to take it very far. We're going to release it somewhere nearby here. But uh, I seriously doubt it's going to come back to her house. It, there's plenty of habitat here. He'll, he'll just go somewhere else. It's a black racer. Yeah, they're not related to king snakes or rat snakes. But they're good to have around because they'll actually eat other snakes too. Oh, they will. But they're harmless, yeah. He, he bit me a couple times. What? But, you know. You ain't scared of them. You are. No. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. That's right. So that's what you do. Uh, yes, sir. What? What? Uh, you got caught. I do. Give me one of them Tell you what, is this your house? Yeah. Your house is in one of my YouTube videos. It is. Yeah. What was what was what was going on? Let her, let her, let her, let her get oh, I'll give you one. What, so what, what what was going on there? What? So it was three, I bought it in '09. It was it built in '06. Oh, it, it, it's, it's been it's been since you lived here. It was just last year. Now, now we didn't come to your house, right? So what we did is we had some drone footage in one of our videos of a neighborhood, uh -huh. and so that drone flew right from that school over those trees and right across this neighborhood. Oh, so I guarantee you your house is in that footage. Oh, okay. So if you go to our YouTube channel, our website is Snakes R Us. Yeah, yeah. Our YouTube channel is Snakes R Us TV. Okay. And there's one Snakes on there. Snakes R Us TV. That's yep. Right. And there's one on there called Copperheads versus Cottonmouths. And that's where you'll see your house. Okay. <laughs> Great deal. Yeah, man. Y'all have a good day. All right. See you later. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to have to apologize, y'all. I didn't plan on going out and uh, answering snake calls today. I was actually trying to take the day off. And uh, this woman called like 10 times. And so I finally answered. I was in the middle of another phone call. And she, you know she's panicking on the phone. Please come get the snakes. So I decided to go ahead and go. I did not know that I had a hole in my shorts. Uh, hopefully, you, I don't even know if you, you can see it on camera. Hopefully, you can't. But uh, I sure enough do. So uh, when I turn the snake loose, I need to throw these shorts away, <laughs> and I need to go shopping for some new clothes. I guess. So uh, it is what it is. So I decided to go home and change clothes <laughs> and put some shorts on that were not so revealing. <laughs> and uh, so I've got this black racer. I want to turn it loose. I caught this black racer earlier today and uh, I caught it and it caught me. So uh, I want to turn it loose before it gets dark. You know, these snakes are primarily active in the daytime and there's, there's some good, uh, some good habitat here. And I've actually seen lots of snakes here, including black racers. And this is not too far away from where I caught the snake, which is, which is good too. So um, let's get them out here, get them turned loose. And hopefully it'll do just fine and stay out of people's garages. Black racers are really good snakes um, to have around. You know, some people see a snake like a black racer and they call it a black snake. Well, there's not technically a snake around here that's actually called a black snake. A black snake is a snake that's black in color. The person doesn't know what it's actually called, so they call it a black snake, okay? So there's several different species of snakes that are black in color, and the black racer just happens to be one of those, but it's not a uh, not called a black snake, it's a black racer. So the bad thing about black racers is, ow, there we go. See, they're just notorious. That's what they do is they bite. These things bite. And you know what's worse 
then this snake biting is the musk. I hate snake musk, okay? And they'll just kind of spray it all over you sometimes. But these guys are feisty, and that's why I love black racers. I don't keep black racers to use in my program, programs. They just don't do really, really well in captivity. Usually you can keep them, but they're not my favorites to keep. So uh, we're going to turn <laughs> we're gonna turn this little fella loose and let him get out here. Hang on. We're going. And let him do what he's really good at doing is eating just about everything that'll fit in his mouth, pretty much. <laughs> oh, don't bite my shorts. Okay, not again, not again. All right, fella. Take off, let's see how fast you are. Woo, look at him go. They can move through here so quick. Look at this guy. You're so fast. Look at that tail. Snakes will often shake their tail. It just has a nervous reaction. And when they're in dry leaves or dry grass, people mistake them for rattlesnakes. But uh, that's just a nervous reaction that a lot of snakes have. All right, so you're so pretty. Ow! I should have known you're gonna do that, okay? You got my finger pretty good. We'll let you go. Go do snake stuff. <laughs> I should have known he was going to grab my finger when I put the camera in his face. That was completely my fault. All right. <laughs> On to the next adventure.